So Orion Harris died back in 2017 while trying to help a fellow Marine as he was attacked outside a nightclub in the Gaslamp District. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal shows us what happened when Ryan's mom got up to speak today. Kelly. Well, the victim wasn't even the intended target of this attack. Uh, prosecutors say he was a good Samaritan who jumped in to try and help his friend. Now, Ryan Harris's mother's hands were shaking as she told the judge life without her son has been devastating. I'm living a life sentence. My baby, my child, I can never bring him back. It hurts so bad. I can't believe it. It's a living nightmare. Out there, you took his life. You had no way. When her son, 21 year old Ryan Harris, died back in 2017, she says a part of her died too. My whole world went black. He was 21 years old with a bright future. A Marine serving our country. He smiled and laughed and they could light up a room. A good Samaritan, a hero. <clears throat> He was ripped away from me and my family. The man convicted of murdering her son, 41-year-old Jose Oscar Escada. Prosecutors say Escada and a co-defendant wandered gas lamp early in the morning, looking for victims to terrorize. They targeted Harris's friend, but Harris was stabbed in the throat as he tried to intervene. Today, Escada said this. I know any amount of apologies or condolences will never take away the pain. You know, I just want to take full responsibility, you know, and be accountable for my actions that led me up to this point. However, the judge didn't hold back. The defendant said cold blooded killer. That's just fact. He gave Escada the maximum sentence of 40 years to life. They went out that night not to take people's property, and on two other occasions. They didn't care about the property. They care about inflicting fear in other human beings. And if that is not dark, if that is not evil, I don't know what is. And though Escada's defense attorney had previously brought up the fact that he had had a traumatic childhood, that his father had been in prison, that he suffers from PTSD, the judge had little sympathy. He said a lot of people grow up with difficult circumstances and they don't hurt people. Kirsten and Carlo. Okay, so Kelly, will the defendant be eligible for parole in this case? Yeah, the judge acknowledged that today. He said under the sentencing guidelines, at some point, uh, the defendant will be eligible for parole. During Escada's uh, apology, he said that he's going to try and become a better person. Very rough day in court today. Kelly Hestall reporting live. Sad day for everyone involved.